Okay, so today's topic is refraction due to prism. So what happens in the prism? You can view it here like this. Suppose a white light passes through a prism, then the white light will get divided into seven component colors. So we'll discuss why this happens, and also we'll try to find out what can be the minimum deviation when light passes through a prism. Okay, so let us first understand what is the meaning of incident ray, refracted ray, and emergent ray. Okay, so suppose, suppose that we have one second suppose that we have this is angle of prism it is also called as a refracting angle suppose this is incident ray so at this point you have to draw a normal so this is basically normal this is angle of incidence i suppose the refractive index outside is n1 and inside is n2 and n2 is greater than n1 so light will bend towards the normal since it is traveling from rarer to denser medium suppose light travels like this this is a refracted ray this is angle of refraction r1 and now light is at this point now the light is moving from denser to rarer so it will bend away from normal so first you have to draw a normal here like this and now light will go like this and this is your angle of emergence and this is angle r2 suppose that this point is b and this point is C and this point is D. And if you'll extend the incident ray, and if you will ex extend the emergent ray, then this will be your angle of deviation delta. Now in this figure, you can see that if I'll draw or construct something, you can see that this is angle of incidence I. So this full will be angle of incidence I, but this is R1. So this angle will be I minus R1. Similarly, this is E, so this full angle will be E, but this is R2, so this angle will be E minus R2. Now, exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angle, so del will be equal to I minus R1 plus E minus R2. So del will be I plus E minus R1 plus R2. Now, if you'll see in this quadrilateral, A, B, D, C. If you'll see the sum of all the four angles, if you'll see the sum of A plus B plus C plus D will be equal to 2 pi. But if you'll see the angle B and angle C is 90 because it is normal. This both angles are 90 degree. So A plus D will be equal to, so A plus D will be equal to pi because B and C both are 90, 90, so 180 will cancel. A plus D will be pi. Similarly, if you'll see that in triangle, this triangle, in triangle B, C, D, R1 plus R2 plus D will be equal to pi. So if you compare equation number one and equation number two, so you can see that R1 plus R2 will be equal to A because A plus D is pi, R1 plus R2 plus D is pi. So basically R1 plus R2 will be equal to A. So we can write deviation to be equal to I plus E minus A. So this is the relation between deviation and angle of incidence and angle of emergence and also the relation between R1 and R2 and angle of prism. Angle of prism is also called as refracting angle. Okay. Now let us come to the prism again. Now we'll discuss minimum deviation. Like what will be the condition when deviation through the prism will be minimum. So remember that when deviation is minimum, then the refracted ray will be parallel to the base. Please remember this condition that the refracted ray, so this is refracted ray, it will be parallel to the base. And this angle we have R2, and this is your angle of emergence E. Remember at minimum deviation, R1 will be equal to R2, so this will imply that R1 will be equal to R2 will be equal to A by 2 because R1 plus R2 is equal to A. Similarly, at minimum deviation, I will be equal to E. So angle of incidence will be equal to angle of emergence. Now let us calculate the deviation. So the minimum deviation will be I plus E minus A, but I is equal to E. So we can write it to be 2i minus a. So i can be written to be equal to del m plus a divided by 2. So this is your angle of incidence for minimum deviation. So if I put Snell's law at point number 1, if I put Snell's law at point number 1, 
So point number one, Snell's law will be n1 sine i equal to n2 sine r1. So n1 sine i is basically minimum deviation plus a by 2 and n2 r1 will be equal to a by 2. So this is your equation for refraction due to prisma when there is minimum deviation. So at minimum deviation, please remember that r1 will be equal to r2, i will be equal to e and the refracted ray will be parallel to the base. And this is your angle of prisma, also called as refracting angle. Now, suppose that the angle of prisma is very small. Suppose there's an assumption I am making that, there's an assumption I am making that A is very small. So if A is very small, then the deviation will also be small. So if I'll write my equation again, that N1 sine del M plus A by 2 equal to N2 sine A by 2. So if angles are small, we can write sine theta to be equal to theta. So if angles are small, then sine theta is equivalent to theta. So the equation will be N1 del M plus A by 2 equal to N2 A by 2. 2 and 2 will get cancelled out. From here, you can see if we'll solve it out, the deviation will be equal to A N2 upon N1 minus 1. So if angle of prism is small, then we can assume deviation to be equal to angle of prism multiplied by N2 upon N1 minus 1. So please remember that when angle of prism is small, then you can take minimum deviation to be equal to deviation. Okay, now let us calculate. Now let us calculate how much will the red light deviate and how much will the violet light deviate. We have already seen that in the first video that when white light is passed through the prism, the red light will deviate the least while the violet light will deviate the most. So why this deviation happens? Because refractive index of any material depends on wavelength and refractive index is inversely proportional to wavelength. So more the wavelength, less will be the refractive index and less will be the deviation. Please remember this empirical formula that when n means refractive index of any medium is inversely proportional to wavelength of light passing through that medium. So red light is highest wavelength. So refractive index for red light will be minimum. So deviation of red light will be minimum. Similarly, wavelength for violet will be maximum. So wavelength for violet will be minimum. So refractive index for violet will be maximum and violet color light will deviate the most. Red color light will deviate the least. And this phenomena is called as dispersion. Dispersion means the breaking down of white light into seven component colors is called as dispersion. And what is the reason of dispersion? Because the refractive index of medium is different for different colors. Okay, so you have to remember this formula and you have to remember this formula. Suppose if angle of prism is small, then deviation for violet light will be A NV minus one. Suppose the outer medium is air, so N1 is 1 and NV is refractive index for violet color light. So this is how you can calculate deviation for different colors. Okay.